Oh my fucking god, time for a new vlog! How the fuck are we doing today, guys? I'm doing sexy and awesome. Thanks for always, 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 always asking. <laughs> today we're going to be talking about some interesting crap all of it. Today was a sexy time event. Today, I jizzed in my pants because today we achieved something awesome and sexy. We got 84 Hunter. Woo! That's higher than some people on this game. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, I've been collecting my little orange balls and doing awesome uh, and wonderful little things. And as you basically see on the bung board, we are now on a journey to 85 Hunter. What is that 85 Hunter? Nothing more than just level. My prediction to 99 uh, Divination is going to be probably 86 and a half Hunter. That's a pretty good guesstimation, um, because I probably mi most likely will be getting about an extra 700 to maybe 800k in Hunter. Very well could be 86.5 to 87. Um, but it, then again, going from 73 to fucking 1 mil EXP in the skill to uh, 2.9. That's a, that's that's a lot, goddammit. Just about gaining two mil EXP in a sub skill is actually really good. Um, otherwise, last night I made a fucking Minecraft video. Um, I went AFK for my computer, uploaded it, and fucking the broken ass site of YouTube did not process my video. It just it froze, and uh, it's been doing that to me a lot, and I have to be a babysitter now. YouTube is no longer a website that you can just go AFK and just hope for the best. You actually have to babysit fucking YouTube and make sure your videos upload on time and shit like that. It sucks dick. Um, especially when you're uploading a file size like 2 gigs and it takes like fucking 15 minutes to upload, then it fucks up and you gotta re-upload it! That's like 30 minutes of your life gone. Um, but anyways, uh, otherwise you're going to be uploading new RuneScape video today. Uh, IRL video was uploaded yesterday, and that's basically pretty much about it for interesting crapola. And, uh, we will go forward now, uh, with, uh, well, talking about balls. Actually, no, we're not going to be talking about balls today. Today we're going to be talking about new armor once again on RuneScape. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god, it feels like a, a ball is in my throat. Ah. Uh, Ah, oh, so horrible. <laughs> so horrible. Alright, <laughs> so anyways, we all know what Tetsu armor is. The fucking Japanese sounding type armor you get from player ports. That armor is the best type of melee armor there is in the game, supposedly. Um, besides that, besides Torva, Barrows, and you know, shit like that, uh, the best type of mage armor, I believe, is almost positive, is it's uh, fucking... Uh, 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 tectonic armor. Basically the armor you get from uh, Vir uh, Virago and shit, you know, the big the big, uh, the big big monster in the in the wall in the hole. <laughs> it's, it's a big thigma jiggy. Um, basically that's the best type of mage armor. Besides, you know, you have a uh, fucking armor you get from Nex and shit, which used to be the best. However, that slowly changed because a new boss came out. Uh, besides that, uh, there's new armor that came out and is fucking called, um, uh, where the fuck is this goddamn armor? Cyranic armor. Basically, it con consists of three pieces. A mask, a torso, and chaps. Each of the pieces require 90, def uh, 90 defense to basically wear. It degrades the same way tectonic armor uh, degrades. It becomes untradeable once it has been used in combat. Cannot be repaired. This armor cannot be repaired and lasts around 60,000 hits before uh, degrading entirely. Alright, so basically this armor cannot be fucking repaired. I'm looking at tectonic, uh, tectonic armor right now. Uh, requires 90 magic armor to basically use, blah, blah, blah. Uh, new materials, you have the mask, bottom, road top. You can make the armor by boosting your runecrafting level. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see, where the fuck it, repairable, and, and just try and fucking see where the fuck this shit is. Um, alright, so basically, the goddamn, um, tectonic armor, you can actually repair. Um, this armor, you fucking, uh, cannot repair. Uh, so basically the difference is that you have 
But so once again, Torva you can repair, uh, Gano armor you can repair, uh, Tetsu superior armor you can repair, however just plain Tetsu armor you cannot fucking repair whatsoever. Um, and I, I believe the Tetsu non, you know, superior, I think it's like 26 something, it's, it basically replaced, um, fucking, um, what do you call that? It, it replaced, uh, Vesta and it replaced its Stadius. If you guys basically remember Vesta and Stadius and shit, um, it was actually pretty fucking powerful. Alright, it's so basically a full set of Tetsu that does, alright, so it's about, oh, uh, that's really not too bad, uh, about 16 mil uh, for the entire set that degrades in combat. And once it degrades, it's it's gone. <laughs> it can never be re used ever fucking again. Um, and it lasts up to 12 hours of combat. Uh, so basically you have 12 hours of the most powerful fucking armor in the game. Um, however, and yeah, it, it, it does, the body gives a 1992 hit points bonus when Barris Armor only gives you, I believe, 1680. So it does give you a hell of a lot better um, hit points bonus and armor rating. However, it only lasts for 12 hours. But then again, if you're at fucking Bandos for 12 hours, 12 hours at Bandos, that guarantees you um, five, it's about 700k an hour. So you're going to probably most likely make give or take, uh, right around, uh, fucking, um, 84 mil, uh, 8, 8 mil, 400k, plus if you get some drops, that's always a boost as well. So you can probably make your money back at Bandos, however, me personally, just, it's kind of a risk and shit to actually take. Um, however, alright, basically back to this new armor that came out, um, how do you basically make this armor? Let's see, it actually looks like fucking purple people e eater armor, <laughs> it looks really fucking weird and shit. Uh, this level 90 power armor is the best, the very best gear you can wear, uh, pumping out, uh, projectiles made from high level crafters using drops from powerful monsters. It also means a money making pro uh, prospects for skillers and slayers. Um, it actually does look kind of sexy as well. Uh, basically it looks like you need crafting levels of 91 to 93 for the, the materials and shit. Um, basically my personal opinion. And then it basically says, you need 91 to craft the mask, 92 to craft, craft the legs, and 93 to craft the torso. My personal opinion on fucking new armor being added to the game is that it affects everything else. However, kind of like we vlogged uh, either a few days ago or yesterday, I can't really remember. Um, whenever Jagex adds new armor to the game, they have to add a new boss. Because... If you guys remember God Wars on fucking 2007, God Wars is fucking hard. I mean, if you go with Barrow's armor, it's, you know, you have decent armor. However, if you don't, you know, if you're in fu a fucking full Bandos, you're being more equipped and powerful than someone in full DH. Um, so, having God Wars armor to fight God Wars bosses is basically what it takes. Then, of course, when Next came out and people were going to Bandos using Torva, Bandos really became a fucking joke. Um, then, of course, after Bandos, you you know, of course, the uh, Kelp Knight Queen became a fucking joke. Then you have the King Black Dragon that became a joke. Um, now even the Queen Black Dragon, Dragor, Tor, you know, I mean, it really, it, it's just, it, it doesn't, it, it's really just, in, in simplest terms, it's kind of most likely just really whatever. Um, will there be a new guy, will there, will there be a new boss on this game? Probably not. And, uh, Jagex actually did it kind of smart. Instead of fucking Virago releasing, um, melee armor, defense, uh, melee armor, uh, range armor, and fucking, you know, magic, well, they released, uh, magic armor and shit. Actually, no, no, no. Virago didn't, god damn it, I'm gonna get my fucking bosses mixed up. <laughs> oh, I got the goddamn fucking wiener. Um, I know Virago, yes, wait, actually, no. Virago drops these fucking things that you can craft fucking the armor out of and shit. Um, almost positive that he does. So yes, Virago basically get, you, you, you can get from him magic armor, which is actually somewhat really good. Um, you can't fucking get, uh, melee armor. You can't get, uh, you know, fucking, um, range armor from him. You can only get magic, you can only get tectonic energy that can basically be used to make tectonic armor and shit. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, it's really good that Jagex took that into consideration. However, I really don't see a new boss coming out. I think Jagex really fucking release the Kelp Knight King and Virago too close together. Um, if you guys remember, God Wars was fucking out in 2007. Like, literally November 2007. The next boss didn't come out, which was Nex. I'm pretty sure it was fucking God Wars, Nex, and then that's when a whole bunch of other shit came out. Like, you had the Queen Black Dragon, etc., etc. Um, Nex fucking didn't come out until, like, Jesus, uh, years. Like, two and a half years after God Wars. It appears that Jagex is just mass-producing bosses every so often. Yeah, I mean, people do get very tired of fighting the same boss. However, you want to kind of, you know, flow, you know, space things out a little bit. It appears that Jagex is kind of just really rushing a lot of shit into the game. Soon, you're going to have to be 99 defense to uh, have melee armor. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what's going to come next. Armor that, you know, the most powerful melee armor isn't going to be 90 anymore. It's going to be 99. Then after that, it's probably going to be 120 or maybe even 110 if Jagex raises the fucking skill limit and shit. All right, guys. But otherwise, like I basically said, uh, look out for a new RuneScape video on fucking main channel. Um, otherwise, that's basically pretty much about it. But otherwise, right now, I'm going to go to my email address for some happy hooba hooba questions from you motherfuckers. Ah, so much at hooba.com to me who's because if you do, well... Then new armor will come out in the game and it'll require uh, 1,000 defense level to own. Which, uh, well, let's hope that day never fucking comes. <laughs> ah, first hooba hooba question. Ah, hey, Knight, you might get this question a lot, but it's something that I'd like to hear your opinion on. Do you think Jagex will ever remove EOC from the game? I know they say they don't have any backups from the, uh, uh, they don't have any backups of the game, but I think that's a load of rubbish. I think when RS is down to like a thousand players, they might remove uh, EOC as de desperate attempt to receive the game back. What's your opinion on this? RS username, the old Yeti. All right, um, Jagex will never remove EOC, and the reason why they will never remove EOC is because too many things have been placed in the game related to EOC. Um, the time that Jagex could have removed EOC was maybe a month after it was installed in the game. However, it's fucking way too late to do that. Um, and plus, Jagex will just say, if you don't like EOC, then go on RuneScape 2007. So, I mean, that's one thing that Jagex basically pretty much will say. Um, do I think they have a backup? I've said this multiple times. They probably do. It's just, you know, they're being very difficult and shit. Um, if RuneScape goes down to a thousand players online, who fucking knows what Jagex might do? <laughs> I mean, fucking Jagex may very well just, you know, start like a picket rally. I, I, I don't really know what Jagex would basically do and shit, um, but it's very interesting. Anyways, next Uber Hoover question. Uh, Dear Nightmare uh, what would you think of RuneScape 2007 if they added Karasi and Dragon Claws along with a quest? RS username, uh, YOLO DO. Uh, it's fucking, fucking YOLO motherfuckers. Um, okay. Adding Karasi and adding Dragon Claws, it would no longer be RuneScape 2007. <laughs> it would be RuneScape 2009. Um, if they add Dragon Claws, that means they add Tormented Demons. That would mean they have to add a whole bunch of other quests. It it would be way too complicated for the game. It would really, probably most likely, fuck up uh, the RuneScape 2007 atmosphere. And it would definitely fuck up the economy and shit. Um, but otherwise, that's just my personal opinion. Anyways, guys, as always, if you enjoyed this vlog, please thumbs up this video. And let me know some nasty, dirty little comments. Otherwise, I'll see you happy, motivated motherfuckers in a few. Bye!